Tor and Odin were in the photo with the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing... Oh, oh fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Torrent Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. This is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> And you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, Box Holy Ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pasin. Name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Marty. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. The Birkele Vikings. Birkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh... You can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. 
Thanks anyway. Were you in band? Minäkö? No, no. Perkele, saatana, en ollut Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <laughs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer. Never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the Wellness Center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. 
But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Thor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Thor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and... This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Saga. Hello? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. Tor was here. He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? It's me! Oh, come on. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. A security computer. And the doors are open. Shit! <laughs> Need to catch up with Tor. Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute. That water is bad for you. Tor, wait! Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. What was that? 
Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Rose. Um. Wake has returned. Oh. My. God. Silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh. I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no. She's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? <laughs> Good dinner recipes. Ways to kill Taken? Lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! <laughs> Exciting! You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. 
Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Welcome to the emergency muster point! You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Where is Angus remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A rock and roll cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Anger's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Ten lights. Key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. Too many! I need to get the power back on. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. 
dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. There. Shit. Careful, Saga. I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? A power station? Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Tor's a romantic, huh? A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. And a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Do you know anything about the Cult of the Tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Blum liked to talk. <laughs> Ratsless blood. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, cobweb of my soul. My face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. this place no power Whoa. the power on to use the switch the wall just disappeared the light did that the center. Was too late. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. 
Oh, back here again. again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me. It's a long damn trip. Damn it. Apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit!
Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, he took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> The cobweb of my soul On my face forever Seeking to be whole Driven by passion Raging like a storm With thunder and lightning And the hubris I was born Blood hot and vain I risk to take it all to your pain, your wounds, my downfall. You can't relight my fire when our shame becomes a pain. Nothing but it.